Hello fellow dental babes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Let's get right into this video about oral pathology for the dental hygienist. Now, this is going to be a quick run through of everything you need to know. The general synopsis of this class um, when you are definitely in dental hygiene school. Now, let's go ahead and begin. The notes that I have here are like the meat and potatoes of this book. Everything that you need to know to pass this class the first time like a boss. Now, our pathology, our pathology review. Let's go. Chapter one, things that you need to know. You should be able to describe the following lesions. What is a bulla? What is a papule? What is a vesicle? What is a macule? Those should be... On your top of the line, those need to be stars. Those need to be starred and highlighted when you are studying for any exam, any quiz that you have, midterm, and definitely for the finals. These are the things that you need to know. That's first things first. So that's 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 what you need to know for chapter one. And chapter two, information and repair. Um, you need to know the classic signs of of, of inflammation, types of types of exudate, which is pus, cells involved in inflammation. The kind and system, clotting mechanism, and also, and also types of healing. So also, no injuries to oral soft tissue. For example, hematomas, mucus seals, an amalgam tattoo, a dry socket. That's also what you need to know. That's for chapter two. If I'm, if I'm going too fast, you can go ahead and slow this down. But like I said, this is just a brief, quick synopsis. Next, for chapter three, no cells involved in the immune response. For example, the B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, NK cells, microphages. Also know the types of immunity. Passive immunity, active immunity, hypersensitivity, one, two, three, and also four. Also, know your oral diseases with immunologic pathogens, path pathogenesis. For example, apiosis ulcers, minor, major, fixed drug eruptions, erythema multiform, lichen planus, I hope I'm pronouncing that word correctly, systemic lupus erythomus, or SLP, and also Pemphis, Pemphis figaris. I wanna. I hope I'm saying that one correctly as well. That's for chapter three. Moving on, chapter four. Know your infectious diseases. Please, please, please know your infectious diseases. Know about impetigo, tuberculosis or TB, syphilis, acetomyosis, tonsillitis, pharyngitis. Also, peri pericononitis. Hope I'm saying that one correctly. I'm sorry I'm slotting these words, but as you read chapter per chapter, you'll know and point out, okay, these are the things that I need to know chapter per chapter. So that's chapter four. All right, so chapter five, um, know your developmental disorders. So know your commercial lipids, ankyloglossia, Denture cyst, odontogenic keratocyst, and odontia ain't no teeth. <laughs> that's why I used to. That's why I used to memorize to, to know that one for my exams. Also, um, sorry, move for, moving forward. Supernumerary teeth, which is extra teeth. Um, enamel hypoplasia, and also dentin dente, which means tooth within a tooth. Like I said, these are the things that are key and clutch that you need to know in order to pass this class the first time. Next, chapter six. Know your radiographic terms used to describe lesions. For example, coalescences, diffuse, also multiocular. Know the diagnostic process, clinical, radiographic, historical, laboratory, microscopic, surgical, therapeutic, differential. Also know your variants of normal. Four-size granules, melanin pigmentation, 
medium rhomboid glaciitis, geographic tongue, local edema. Those are variants of normal. Please know that from what's benign and what's also malign and also what is malignant. Next, genetics. Know about trisomy 21, trisomy 13, Turner syndrome, Kleffner syndrome, X-linked inheritance, Papillon-Diverse syndrome, Sherbism, Ellis Van Corfield syndrome, Maxillary ectosis. That's for chapter six. Chapter seven. Know about, know about neoplasia, leukoplakia, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, adenomycoid arteriogenic tumor, also anodontima. Chapter 8 Non neoplastic diseases of bone, for example, periapical cemento osseous dysplasia. Focal cemental osseous dysplasia, fibrous cemental osseous dysplasia, fibrous dysplasia, polycystic fibrosis dysplasia, also Piaget's disease. That's for chapter eight. Next, chapter nine. Know about the manifestations of of systemic diseases from hyper hyper. Hyperpituitarism, hypothyroidism, diabetes, Addison's disease, platelet count, pantrombin time. That's for chapter nine. Last but not least, chapter ten. You have to know your diseases, diseases affecting the temporomandibular joint. Anatomy of the TMJ, arthritis. Terminal of the TMJ, TMJ disorders, and also treatment. And there you have it, all 10 chapters for your book for the oral pathology for the dental hygienist. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead again one more time. Repetition is definitely key when passing this class here. Like I said, this class isn't the hardest, but it is something that you need to know um, from now on until you retire from dental hygiene. Here we go. Once again, chapter one, you need to know bola, papule, vesicle, also macules. That's chapter one. Chapter two, information and repair. Know the classic signs of inflammation, types of exudate, which is pus, cells involved in inflammation, kind and system, causing mechanism, types of healing. Know your injuries to oral soft tissue, hematoma. Mucoseals, amalgam tattoo, dry socket. Chapter three, cells evolve in immune response. B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, NK cells, macrophages. Know your types of immunity. Passive, active, hypersensitivity one, two, three, and four. Also, know your oral diseases with immuno, immunologic pathogenesis. Epilous ulcers, major, minor, the shrub eruptions, erythema multiform, lichen planus, systemic lupus erythomus or SLP, pempis vulgaris, vulgaris. Chapter 4, infectious diseases, impetigo. Tuberculosis, syphilis, antinomyosis, antiomycosis, tonsillitis, pharyngitis, per periocornitis. Chapter 5 Developmental Disorders Commissural Lip Pits, Ankyloglossia, Venturous Cyst, Odontogenic Keratosis. Anodontia, supernumerary teeth, amahapoplasia, dense and dente, 
next, chapter six. Now you know the radiographic terms used to describe lesions, coalescence, diffuse, multiocular. Know the diagnostic process, clinical, radiographic, historical, laboratory, microscopic, surgical, therapeutic, differential. Another variance of normal, four size granules, melanin pigmentation, medium rhomboid glossitis, geographic tongue, leukodemia. Know your genetics. Trisomy 21, trisomy 13, Turner syndrome, Clefenner syndrome, X-linked inheritance, papillon syndrome, Schurism, Edis van Kriffel syndrome, Maxillary ectosis, Chapter 7, Neoplasia, Leukoplakia, Squamous cell carcinoma, Basal cell carcinoma, Adenomatoid adenom ontogenic tumor, Anodontia, Chapter 8, Non Neoplastic Diseases of Bone, Prepocal Cemental Osseous Dysplasia, Focal Cemental Osseous Dysplasia, Forward cemental osseous dysplasia, fibrous dysplasia, polycystic fibrous dysplasia, also Piaget's disease. Piaget's disease, I'm sorry. Piaget's disease. Got it. Piaget's disease. All right, chapter nine. Manifestations of systemic diseases. Hyperpituitarism, hyperthyroidism, diabetes, Addison's disease, platelet count, Thrombin time. Chapter 10. D diseases affecting the temporal mandibular joint. Know the anatomy of the TMJ. Know about arthritis. Know about tumors of the TMJ. TMJ disorders and also treatment. And there you have it. Our right, pathology for the dental hygienist. This is a brief overview. Be sure to get this book. It is clutch. You're going to need this. It has a lot of pictures, a lot of examples. Everything you need to pass this class the first time like a boss. I love you guys a lot. Happy studying. Good luck. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It is to help you. Love you lots. Take care. Until next time.